The overall goal of this procedure is to functionalize an all-solid-state ion-selective electrode for both cation and anion detection. First, electropolymerize a conductive polymer transducer layer on the working electrodes of the MAB. Spin coat an ion-selective membrane layer and condition the biochip overnight to activate the ion-selective membrane. Now, in the flow cell chamber, connect the contact pads to the BASI 3-electrode potentiostat. Push measurement solution into the chamber, removing unwanted bubbles. Ultimately, calibrations of the MAB chip to ions of interest can be performed and output signal from the MAB recorded in real time. Unlike traditional microelectrode and radio labeling probe technologies, all solid state ion selective electrodes are non invasive and they can be multiplexed for real time measurements of ion activities in model biological and physiological systems. We first had the idea to perform this method while participating in astrobiology research that requires limited space to perform physiological measurement. Jun Hyun Park, a grad student in a Burt Binley Physiological Sensing Facility, will assist me with a demonstration. To form the electrochemical cell for electropolymerization, use a BASI C3 cell stand and an EC Epsilon potentiostat galvanostat. Place the electropolymerization solution in the electrochemical cell. Then, bubble nitrogen for 20 minutes to remove dissolved oxygen. Now, Clip a platinum gauze counter electrode to the electrochemical cell at the counter electrode position. Then clip the MAB at the working electrode position or center position of the electrochemical